the Film Quiz Podcast. Uh, <laughs> unbelievably, unbelievably, there's not another podcast out there called the Film Quiz Podcast. So, um, so uh, by going bare bones, we got the exact title that we uh, a wanted and be deserved. Um, uh, hello, I'm Nick Helm, and welcome to the Film Quiz Podcast. <laughs> it's a podcast about films in the form of a quiz. It's exactly what it says it is, unlike the never-ending story, which is actually only 102 minutes long. <laughs> in each episode, our contestants fight it out to prove they know their Dick Van Dykes from their Dick Tracys, their Oliver Twist from their Oliver Stones, and their Rain Man from their Michael Fish. I mean, he can't be the most recent weatherman. It can't be, I, although I'm struggling to think of one, so hats off to you, mate. Well done. <laughs> our risky business is to ask our contestants not to short circuit as they answer a series of questions about fur. Like, embrace it, all right? <laughs> I hate, no, I hate it. I hate, I hate this as well, all right? This is, the, this is the bullshit you have to get through at the beginning of every podcast to get to the good stuff, you know, the end. Um, uh, when you get your own time oh the uh, word up front I forgot to say it in the last one uh, uh, don't listen to this show whilst driving brilliant um, our risky business is to ask our contestants not to short circuit uh, yeah fuck off right it's going to be like this as they answer a series of questions about film by the end one of them will have escaped to victory okay there's going to be film references throughout try and enjoy it okay today's three billboards outside Ebbing Missouri are First up, a stand-up comedian and writer whose TV credits include Richard Osman's House of Games and Mock the Week, along with writing credits for Horrible Histories, The Lely Henry Show, and Dead Ringers. She's the co-host of BBC Radio 4's My DMs Are Open. It's Athena Cablano from East Finchley. Next up, we have stand-up comedian, writer and actor and a critically acclaimed maverick of the Edinburgh Finch circuit, having made a name for himself with the hashtag Get Sarah Back and hashtag Find My Audience series on YouTube. He went on to make his own series of comedy pilots and his own chat show, The Person Behind the Celebrity. It's Luke McQueen from Luton! <laughs> And finally, a writer, comedian, and podcaster who's built a huge following through her online sketches. She co-hosts the hit podcast Nobody Panic and Might Delete Later. She's also made appearances on shows such as The Mash Report, Starstruck, Breeders, Come I auditioned for Breeders, Comedians Giving Lectures, and Ruck, which is ridiculous because Daisy Haggard is in it. She played my sister for three years and they made me audition for the part of a bin man. <laughs> I, I turned it down. I said, I'm no way auditioning for that. And I didn't get the part. I said, fuck them. But she, you in that great um, <laughs> it's Stevie Martin from Liverpool <laughs> and let's not forget our resident scorekeeper put your hands together for my best friend and soon to be yours Mr Hugh Davies <laughs> Here we go, here we go, and we're off. Now, um, Athena, it says here you would rather cheese grate your tits than watch Lord of the Rings again, is that right? Um, I'll go with that, yes, <laughs> but, what, but what? It's, not, it's not entirely correct. Okay, I, well, I, I, love, I love Lord of the Rings, it's my favourite film. You love the Lord of the Rings? Yeah, um, I like Hobbits. Who doesn't? They do, a lot, they do a lot for the short man community, and I'm all about equality, if people know who I am. Uplifting people. Yeah. Especially little people. Especially sure. little people, yeah. yeah. Um, it's probably it's Lord of the Rings, the isn't it, man? Well, <laughs> but sure. Okay, right, yeah, so Lord of the Rings. Um, what's your favourite film? Oh, I like Heat. Heat's sick. And I like The Lion King as well. Sure. Um, sure. What, yeah. what, 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 the remake? Did you, did you see the remake? Of The Lion King. The live action. The live action. Oh, the live action remakes, man. I, I, they were just like the cartoons, but live action. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah. So I'm not sure why they made them. Uh, well, I, I know exactly why they made them. Because at some point, someone at Disney watched uh, 1994's The Flintstones and went, that's amazing. Let's, <laughs> let's do that forever. Uh, and they did that. It's, yeah. oh, because there, so there were so many animators with sore wrists and they just said, eh, let's just act it out now. Uh, okay. Look, am I right in thinking that you've never seen... Is this right? It's written on my card. You've never seen Star Wars? No. 
Which one? Oh, wow. Well, this is the problem. The, the reason I've not really seen Star Wars is because they've, got, they've all got weird titles. I don't know which one's one, and so I just don't bother. Same Episode. with Harry Potter. <laughs> it, like, just call them Harry Potter 1, Harry Potter 2, and I'll watch they, it. They kind of do that. <laughs> Uh, the, the clue is, in the first one, they're in the first year at school, and in the last one, they're in the last year at school. Yeah, but I, you have to get to the point where you've popped it on and gone, oh, he's at the last year at school. Yeah, you've got to kind of imagine what Rupert Grint's testicles look like at that point. <laughs> and then by that, you can work out what year group they're in. I also will say in Star Wars, they famously number them. <laughs> Do they really? Yeah, I thought yeah, it was yeah. like Empire yeah. Strikes it's very, Back. It's, it's very simple, Lou. You, as, as normal, you start with four, <laughs> five, six, then one, two, three, then back up to six, seven, nine. Is there nine of them? Yeah, there's nine. Of them. Seven, eight, nine, and then well, then obviously, uh, what you would actually do is if it depends where you do it, but you'd watch uh, Phantom Menace, Attack of the Clones, mm. Revenge of the Sith, Rogue One. Uh, no, you wouldn't. You'd watch Solo, then you'd watch Rogue One, then you'd watch an Ewoks adventure, oh. Battle for Endor, <laughs> then you'd watch Caravan of Courage, then you would watch uh, Episode 4, A New Hope, uh, Episode 5, The Empire Strikes Back, Episode 6, Return of the Jedi, uh, episode, and then you don't watch any of the others. Um, <laughs> that's, that's how it works. Um, okay, Stevie, you think, this is what it says, okay. you think that Pulp Fiction oh, would have benefited from a... Bit of an edit. <laughs> oh, uh, what, putting it chronologically in the right order? Yeah. yeah. Um, I wanted to sound like a wanker. That's why I said that. Um, no, I just, I, I like it. I just, I, there's a lot of fannying around. I, actually, I, I stick by that. Yeah. No, I stand by it. I yeah. think Pulp Fiction is overrated. Uh, but if you're listening, uh, Quentin Tarantino, um, <laughs> <laughs> what's your favourite film, Stevie? I don't know. Um, there's too many and I panic. I don't know any of the, any of the names or anything I've watched. But I really liked uh, a Hook and Casper the Friendly Ghost when I was growing up. Yeah, right. I watched Casper the Friendly Ghost recently. It is a fuck, it's a shit show of a film. It's so bad. But there's like one very touching moment where like he, t he tells her how, she, how, how he's died and then they, they get off and that's the best bit. Right, yeah. How, yeah. Does, how did Casper die? So his um, parents left him out in the cold and as a boy and he just froze to death and it's incredibly dark yeah. um, but very moving and then uh, later on yeah they go off with each other he's quite fit and uh, not now and <laughs> <laughs> how old is he? eight? he's yeah, eight yeah right? about yeah. eight or nine yeah. so yeah. that's yeah yeah, he's a little bit too friendly. Um, okay. um, uh, look, I, I completely forgot to ask you what your favourite film is. So let's get on to round one. Let's hear it for our contestants. And of course, it's time to go over to Huge with the scores. What are the scores so far, Huge? It's very, it's very, that's very droll. <laughs> Very Thank drunk. you. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm panicking a little bit. Yeah, um, yeah. Uh, what's, what, what, what film related? What film related thing have you got for me this week? Uh, I watched um, uh, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory this week. Great, oh. great film. I love that film. Well, wait, wait it's Willie and Willie Wonka. It's the first one. Willie Wonka. The Gene Wilder one. Yeah, yeah. Willie Wonka and, Willy the, Wonka Chocolate and the Chocolate Factory. Factory. Yeah. Can I just, I just, I, I don't say this a lot. No, it's in a film in which there's also a man in it who kills four children for a laugh. <laughs> How can he not be the worst person in it? Grandpa Joe is in that bed for so long. He's in it for so long. He's like, his mum's... Jolly Bucket's mum is, like, working in... I don't know where she's working. She's got a big barrel of water. and She's <laughs> poking it with... It. I don't know what the fuck that job is, but it's not getting... That's, that's three pounds an hour, easy. She, he gets the ticket. Gone ticket. Grandpa Joe's like, suddenly my legs are feeling better all of a sudden. Gets up. He's, he's been... And also... He gives Charlie the bucket. The he's like, you get the chocolate bar, and he's like, no, Grandpa, that you need that for your tobacco. <laughs> he's been in that bed. They all live in the same room. <laughs> he's been doing rollies in bed <laughs> with them all there. He gets up and starts dancing at one point. You know what? Give your mum the tickets for one. 
So I'm just a bit angry. Have you... Have, <laughs> huge, <laughs> huge. Have you noticed the... If you, if you zoom in, the worst thing I've ever seen is when you zoom in to Grandpa Joe, he's got a coke nail on his... His, fi- his pinky. Yeah, it's right. It's very long. Right, and you know the bit when they first get into yeah. the warehouse and there's the river of chocolate? Mm-hmm. He's got a hard-on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It was the Oompa Loompas. Yeah. It was fucking... So I'm not allowed to kink shame, but he's a fucking piece of work. <laughs> round one is the true or false round. Everyone thinks they know what true or false round is, but let's, let's put it into practice, right? To start off, I will read out a series of film-related facts, and all you lot have to do is tell me if they are true or if they're false. Do we do it at the same time? Oh, come on, Athena. No. <laughs> it's too early, too early for this level of shenanigans. Right, so round one. Athena, we're going to start with you, one at a time. Marvel's Ant-Man made his big screen debut in the comedy movie Little Man. Is that true or is that false? Um, because that's false. Why do you think it's false? Because he's a Marvel hero and they're quite um, into like their intellectual copyright and I can't see than making a film called Little Man that had a random Ant-Man character in it. I see, right, okay. But I'm, I'm, I'm wrong in it. Oh. Do you think... Um, oh, no. <laughs> Nick. It's just true. It's 50-50. It. It's, it's basically... It. Oh. It's, it's, it's a tarted up version of Deal or No Deal, basically. Um, it's true or false. 50-50. What do you think? True or false? Do you think Marvel's Ant-Man, yeah, the fictional Marvel's Ant-Man, do you think he made his big screen debut in the Wayne's comedy Little Man? Oh, it's definitely false. He didn't do that. It's false! It is false! It is false! <laughs> <laughs> it is false! 2006, Little Man is not about a shrinking superhero, but rather about Marlon Wayne's playing a very short jewel thief who poses as a... Ba- I've not seen Little Man. Uh, Luke, have you seen Little Man? No. Stevie, have you seen Little Man? No. Yeah, well, maybe you should start watching some films like Little Man before you fucking start slagging off Pulp Fiction. Right? <laughs> so, OK. <laughs> right. Uh, uh, second question, right, this is, this is for you, Luke. Uh, at the 2017 Oscars, La La Land won seven awards, including Best Picture. Is that, is that true or false, Luke? I think this was the... Uh, this is one of my favourite moments in history, when someone else got announced, but then they gave it to La La Land. Who announced it? I can't... Oh, this part of the, this part of the answer, but... <sighs> I can't, I can't remember, the, can't remember the guy, like an older guy, and he was sort of couldn't read it, and he said, so he said a different film. <laughs> that was the best thing I've ever seen. And uh, <laughs> I can't remember what film he said, but they were pissed off. And I think, I think La La Land was the actual winner, so I'm going to say true. Uh, the answer is, uh, the question was, I mean, I've forgotten what the fucking question was. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck me, God. Um, this, is, this is like, uh, you can answer as long as Luke, right? We don't have... <laughs> Ironically, we don't have the Oscars music coming on to get you off the fucking stage. But you will just be edited down. Okay, right. Final fucking question is... Um, uh, uh, Stevie... Oh, wait, wait. Was what, Luke's was question Luke right? Was wrong. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, it was, and it was Warren Beatty, right? And Cool Runnings inspired true events, true or false? True. Yeah, it was true. <laughs> right, okay, Athena... Question four. Yeah. Famous for a bathroom scene a bit later in the film, 1960's Psycho is the first Hollywood film to feature a toilet being flushed. Is that true or false? I'm going to say that's true. What do you think is true? I feel like that's a bit of trivia. I got in a Christmas cracker one time. But, I mean, it, <laughs> it is true, yeah. Um, <laughs> and, and in brackets, for a bit of fun, it says it happens near the start of the film. <laughs> I mean, shit, if, if, if you've got nothing worth saying, then don't waste the fucking ink. All right. Okay, Luke. In 1988's A Fish Called Wonder, John Cleese's character is named after Cary Grant. True or false? Uh, false. And why do you think it's false? I, I, I've not seen the film. It's 50-50. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's kind of true. Um, John Cleese's character is called Archibald Leach, which is uh, Cary Grant's real name. Uh, I'm going to give you an extra point if you know where Cary Grant was born, Luke. What's Birmingham. That to do, with that, sorry. do you know what? Do you know what? Do you know what? It was Bristol. Oh. Um, question six. Stevie. Yeah. The stormtrooper who bangs his head on a door frame in a famous Star Wars blooper is a major character in the Clone Wars animated spin off series. Is that true or false? Um, I don't know. Um, the answer is, of course, false. Uh, the unnamed stormtrooper doesn't have a spin off. Okay. Yet. <laughs> End of that round. Brilliant. 
So, Stevie, you got one, one right or none right? I got one right. The got first one, one right. I got okay, right, fine. Right, yeah. In that case, we've got Athena on four points, Luke on zero points, and Stevie on two points. <laughs> And what does that mean, guys? That means there's still... That means it's time for the Star Wars facts. Everything oh. to and play. It's, it's <laughs> star, and and to George play Lucas for. has made at, at least 70 extra individual uh, extra edits since 1977. Uh, it's the original cast of Star Wars Episode Four: A New Hope. Uh, the Stormtrooper smacking his head isn't, uh, isn't one of them. Isn't one of them so. No, but do you know what is one of them? Uh, he adds the sound effect now. One of them walks under a door, and as the door's opening, he bumps his head, right? And, uh, and for years, it was in silence. And then when the latest version that's on Disney, he's added a donk, so you can't miss it. Um, so that isn't really a fact. Well, it's a, l a roundabout way of saying that, that what you've said is wrong, huge. <laughs> round two is called Sounds Like the Movies. In this round, our contestants will hear three great songs from movies, all released in the same year. Contestants, that's you guys. Uh, all you have to do is name the song title for one point, yeah? Yeah. Okay. So we're going to be playing three songs, right? Yeah. All you've got to do is you've got to name the song title for a point. Yeah, I know. The film it came from for a point. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and then at the end of that, you've got to write down what year you yeah, think I know. it was, yeah. right? Okay. So there's a total of how many points, Lou? Three. <laughs> seven points! It's not... <laughs> It's a total of seven well, points. You've got to name the song, the film, and the year. And nobody okay. cares okay. Uh, who sung the song. Right? Okay. Right, so that's how it goes. Uh, ready on the, are you ready on the... Oh, hold, my pen doesn't work. Oh. Yeah. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Start the quiz. I can't believe... Just start the quiz. We've, we've had a whole week between episodes <laughs> to fix the pen. That was a problem from the earlier round. If you um, don't bring your own pens, then more for you. Okay, let's go. <laughs> Three, two, one. Here we go. Right, okay, so Athena, uh, let's uh, turn around the whiteboard with a piece of paper stuck on top of the front of it. I couldn't remember the title, but it's from City of Angels. Oh, right, yes, okay. Do you want all of them? That was track one. Track one was from City of Angels, was it? Okay, right, and then what do you think track two was? I thought track two was one shot. I think that's, it's called something like that, and it's from 8 Mile. Right, okay. I'm and, not going with titles. And what's the, third, what's the third one? I couldn't remember the title, it's from Chicago. Yeah, right, okay. Um, and what year do you think it was? 2000... I'm four. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, Luke, uh, right, okay, so turn your board around. That'll be a thing? Yeah. Um, what, have you, what have you written down there? Well, I've for not... For song one, you've got nothing? I've got nothing for that first one, yep. Yeah. yeah. And for, uh, for the... You didn't get anything for the song, for the film, or the year? No. Nope. You've written year every time, but it, <laughs> it, it, it will always be the same year. It'll, it'll, oh, it'll, always be, it'll always be the same, yeah. <laughs> I did not understand. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, you oh, probably no. weren't listening Brilliant. hard enough. Seven, um, seven out of seven. I was seven just trying to work seven. out how we get seven points. So for your foot... <laughs> <laughs> I can't work out whether you're being funny or not. Um, okay, I, okay so, so my film year is 2001. Okay. Uh, and what did you all get that jazz, Chicago. Oh. All that, oh, you got all that jazz, yes. Chicago. Yeah. And for the second one, you got Eight Mile, and for the first one, you got nothing, nothing. Nothing, nothing. And the year was two thousand. Two thousand and one. And your year was two thousand and four. And what did you get? Um, I didn't get anything for the first one. No, it was. I think that that was a really difficult one. I didn't get it either. But go on. Uh, Lose Yourself by yeah. Eminem. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yes. And what eight, film? Uh, eight Mile. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, I went for two thousand and three. Hold on a minute, Stevie. I can see your board, what? and you haven't just gone for two thousand and three, have mate. you? I'd go with Chicago as well. It's Chicago, what's the name of the song? Uh, all That Jazz. Okay, and uh, what was your year? 2001. So we had 2001, 2001, 2004. Okay, track one was Hero from the movie Spider-Man oh. by Nickelback. No points for Nickelback in life. Oh, yeah. um, <laughs> track two was Lose Yourself from the movie Eight Mile uh, by Eminem. No points for Eminem. Track three was All That Jazz from Chicago. Uh, who sang that? Was it Catherine Zeta-Jones? Yeah. yeah. Yes. And what was the year? Everybody, ladies and gentlemen, it was... 
2000 and... What? <laughs> it was 2002. Oh. Um, so you were all almost right, but... In, yeah. <laughs> it's a dog-eat-dog world out there, and, uh, and it, that was a particularly hard round. What, was the, what were the points at the end of that round, Huge? Athena is on six points. Great. Luca's on three points. And Stevie is on six points. Ooh. Great! Yeah. Round three is called Title Fight. This round tests how well you know your movie titles. Contestants take it in turns naming movies with a common theme. Oh, it's this round. I like this one. Each correct title is worth one point and you'll hear this noise. Wait, is this the... Um, yeah, this is where you do the thing. <laughs> the right, right one or the wrong one? Hang on. Uh, yeah, right, right, and right one. one. If, you get it, oh, if you get the correct title, you'll hear this noise. <laughs> <laughs> what was that from? It's from Star Wars Episode 3. <laughs> the good one. <laughs> <laughs> episode uh, 3, of course, that's the sixth one you'll watch. In, uh, <laughs> Yeah, um, Episode three, the sixth one. Yeah. Um, if, you, if you get the answer wrong, you'll hear this noise. You fuck it up! <laughs> What's that from? I thought it's just you backstage. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds so familiar. You fucked it up! You fucked it up! What yeah. is that from? You fucked it up! The Big Lebowski. Yes! The Big Lebowski. Yes, of course. Of course. The Big Lebowski. What was your name? Chris, short for Christopher. It's a gift. Um, the Big Lebowski, one of the greatest films ever made, and so it's only fair to reward that with another one. Uh, you get, uh, from my personal private collection, uh, the live-action version of Cats! Yay! You've all got three lives each, right? We're going to go around, right, from uh, left to right, yep, yeah, uh, and uh, we'll start with you, Athena. This week's title fight is themed around a director. So, for example, we might ask you to name Michael Bay films. Athena might say Transformers. Luke might say Transformers Revenge of the Fallen. Stevie might say Transformers Dark of the Moon. And we'd go back to Athena, who might say Transformers Age of Extinction. And the theory is that we'd eventually run out of Transformers movies, but who knows. So the director we've gone for this week is... Drum roll. Martin Scorsese! Oh, Scorsese. We're only looking for the feature films that he made. Uh, none of his shorts. Uh, so we're not counting things like Uncut Gems, which he only produced, or Shark Tale, in which he voices a puffer fish. <laughs> feature directing credits only, and as of July 2022. There are 25 films altogether. No shout from the audience, guys. Yeah? Uh, we'll come to you when these lot run out. <laughs> Um, okay, so starting with a uh, uh, contestant with the lowest score first, you're current, currently last, so you get to go first. He's going to have a fucking meltdown. <laughs> we'll just, we just do it like left to right, yeah? You're happy with that, Hugh? No, I've, I've actually got the scores this time. We can go from the lowest score if you want. <laughs> um, okay, uh, Luke, um, is that right? Let me check. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's, it, yeah, it's right. All right, okay. So, right, you ready? Is everyone ready? Contestants, ready. contestants, yeah. are you ready? ready? Yes. Absolutely. Yes. Yes. Huge, are you ready? Yeah, yeah. All right, Luke, name a Martin Scorsese film. Godfather 3. Oh, my God, he's... <laughs> no, no, no! That's Did Francis Ford Coppola. Yeah. Is it really? We had, like, 20 I, minutes. I, I, thought I, was being, I thought I was being really clever, though. Honestly, yeah, right. I have Godfather my... Godfather 3. I thought I was being really clever by naming it a franchise that he has nothing to do with. <laughs> I cannot believe that. I have my Can finger I? over the correct one because you've got, you've got the whole field to play. And yet I had to move my hand all the it's, way down. What do you, what? I actually know loads. <laughs> I just know. <laughs> oh, fucking hell. It's a, it's, yeah. Name one Martin Scorsese film. Oh, it'd have to be Francis Ford <laughs> Coppola's Godfather 3. <laughs> <laughs> Francis Ford Coppola's Mario Puzo's Godfather Part 3. Um, okay, so Athena, it goes to you. Name, name a Martin Scorsese film. Goodfellas. Great, okay. Stevie. The Irishman. Oh, hang on, the Irishman. Hang on. Yeah, great. Oh, oh. fuck. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry, I've been racing ahead. We've got to wait for the sound effect. No, no. It's, oh, Stevie didn't... Did you get your answer right? I said The Irishman. Irishman, that's right. Congratulations. <laughs> oh. Okay, and then we're going back to... But there's still... Everything to play for. Everything to play for. Uh, <laughs> to play for. Look, don't... 
Don't join in halfway through. Either do it from the beginning or don't do it at all. all right? There's still everything to play for. Luke, right, you've got two lives left. Oh, God. Donnie Brasco. Fucking <laughs> 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 up! No, Athena, Athena, Athena. <laughs> taxi driver. Yes, absolutely. Oh, taxi God. driver. Stevie. Like Gangs of New York. Gangs of New York, yeah, yeah. brilliant. Luke, you've got one life left. Did he do a fish called Wanda? Oh, yeah. <laughs> You're out, right, okay, Athena, name another... The, the one with Leonardo DiCaprio and Robert De Niro. You know that one? <laughs> yeah. The Departed, The Departed. <gasps> yeah, but Robert De Niro, Robert De Niro's not in The Departed. I know, but I but, forgot, but that's yeah. Not the point. That's not the point, you got that right. Yeah, yeah you got that right. All right, Stevie. I I'm out. Uh, You're not out, you've got three lives. Oh, yeah, but I don't know any more, so I'm just going to... I'm not getting in the room, otherwise I'll never <laughs> out. Oh, my God! <laughs> No, no. Athena! <laughs> I'm sure he did, um, Godfather. What? Is that one? Is that one? Is that one? Carly, he, he didn't do this, but I'll say it. Carlito's way. Okay, you've lost a life. That's Brian De Palma. All right, Kate. Yeah. You fucked it up! <laughs> Stevie, you got two lives God, left. I've got two, obviously. No, no, you didn't do that. No, right. Okay, you got one life left, God. Athena. You got, fucked it up! You've got two lives left. Um, I can't think of any... Just any film. Just say oh, the Lego movie. Um, Fuck it. <laughs> the Lego movie? No, of course he fucking Fuck didn't. <laughs> Athena. No, uh, Stevie. Oh, um, did you do Catch Me If You Can? No. Yeah. Oh. No. Yeah. That's Spielberg. Oh, ah, yeah. did have, uh, Fuck it up. Did okay, have... It's okay, I know. Oh, you're out, Athena. You've yeah, won that he... round. Oh, the, oh, excellent. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> what does... For the scores, what does that mean? Does that mean that Athena gets how many points has she won that thing? Um, give her four points. Luke four gets points. no points. Well, the thing is, Stevie gets three points. No. Uh, bad luck, Luke, uh, losing contestant. Uh, that means you're out of this round. Uh, you might still have a chance at the final round, depending on how much the other two contestants know. We norm what we normally do is we normally just have the person sit in there. Uh, but would you like me to do the total scores? Uh, yeah. What are the scores? I think, I think. <laughs> Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. You can do this. Uh, ten, ten points to Athena. And then uh, Luke, who's, who's out now, is three. And then Stevie is nine. Wow. So that's it. That's great. And that round was called Title Fight. You know, I've got to say it and to get it in my head. Um, okay, right. Uh, so let's give it up for... Um, well, not Luke, but... Um, <laughs> Uh, the, the two remaining contestants. <laughs> and we're on to our final round. Okay, our remaining contestants, Athena and Stevie, are about to battle it out in a quick fire, and it won't be, quiz based on famous movie marketing taglines, right? For example, just when you thought it was safe to go back in the water, is from Jaws 2. This time it's personal, is from Jaws the Revenge. No messing about now, you'll each have 60 seconds to correctly name as many films as you can from just their taglines. But the main takeaway home fact is, stop messing around. Uh, try and concentrate, because before you know it, this round will be gone in 60 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> okay, starting with Athena. Starting with Athena. Starting with Athena. Starting that now. It's supercalifragilisticexpialidocious. Uh, Mary Poppins. He survived the most hostile and primitive land known to man. Now all he's got to do is make it through a week in New York. <laughs> Um, oh, I don't know it. It's Crocodile Dundee. Oh. On the air, unaware. Private parts. The Truman Show. He oh. loved the American dream with a vengeance. Malcolm X. Scarface. <laughs> Dark, darker, Darko. Donnie Darko. Yeah. He's guaranteed to put some life in your afterlife. Cocoon. <laughs> <laughs> That's about aliens. Beetlejuice. Great things come in bears. <laughs> they come in bears. The great things come in bears. <laughs> <laughs> You should have seen the poster. It Is looked like he was fucking him. It was amazing. <laughs> <laughs> I can't even... I don't Yogi know. Bear. Think Size does matter. Oh. Uh, Yogi Bear. I, I, don't, um, <laughs> I don't know. Godzilla. His, his story will touch you, even though he can't. Yogi Bear. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
out of time. I have no idea. Time. It was Edward Cezanne's thing. Oh. Absolutely that was re- That's the hardest thing I've done in my life. Yeah. Uh, the poster for Yogi Bear was Boo Boo. <laughs> And then directly behind him with his hands on his shoulders was Yogi Bear. And it said, good things come in bears. <laughs> and poor Boo Boo, <laughs> he had dead eyes. <laughs> right, OK. OK. So, St- Stevie, uh, OK, your minute, 60 seconds, whatever you want to call it, uh, your minute starts now. You will believe a man can fly. Oh, Superman. A romantic comedy with zombies. Oh, uh, Pride and Prejudice and Zombies? Shaun no. the Dead. We dare oh, you yeah. to say his name five times. Oh, Cantyman. Oh, yeah. Uh, he knows no fear. He knows no danger. He knows nothing. Oh, oh. Um, oh I've forgotten film. it, but it's really... I, 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 I know if I Johnny know. English. Oh, uh, yes, She okay. makes dinner. She does windows. She reads bedtime stories. She's a blessing in disguise. Mrs. Doubtfire? Love is in the hair. Hair? No, it's Yogi Bear. Um, the, no, it's the, there's something about Mary. The mission is a man. Oh, yeah. Oh, sorry. The mission, the mission is a man. I don't know. The mission is a man. I don't know. Yogi Bear. The mission is a man. Same in Private Ryan. Life oh. is like a box of chocolates. Oh, you never Forrest know what you're going to get. Forrest Gump. You know exactly what you're going to get. Uh, two Forrest Gump, please. She brought a small town to its feet with a huge corporation to its knees. Oh, Erin Brockovich. My, my oh. round's way easier than Athena's was. Crime is a disease. Meet the cure. <laughs> I didn't hear what the first bit was. Yeah, that's yeah, because it's so fucking easy, Stephen. <laughs> 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 Crime is a disease, meet the cure. She's, she's out of time, she's out of time. I don't know, but I already Crime is a disease, it. meet the cure. I don't know. It's Cobra, isn't it? I'm not right? seeing that. Um, right, you ready, Huge, with the scores? I am, I am actually ready. Good, let's go. Um, sorry. <laughs> Athena, Athena has 12. Yeah. Yay. And Stevie has 16. What? Stevie wins. <laughs> well, right. Well, let's hear it for Stevie Martin. She, uh, she won, which is unbelievable to me, but um, great, you, you, you won it right in the last minute. That means that you get to take away from my own personal collection the Banana Splits movie, which has been uh, reimagined as a 18 certificate slasher movie. Oh, oh, wow. So that's the end of this week's film quiz podcast. <laughs> let's hear it for all your good you had Athena Kaplanu, Lou McQueen, Stephen Martin, and our scorekeeper, you say me. I've been Nick Helm. Please, if you're enjoying it, tell your friends. If you're not enjoying it, you know, tell them anyway. Uh, uh, don't listen to this while operating heavy machinery and driving. Um, have some fun, guys, and keep watching the stars. <laughs> Uh, thank you, good night. You've been listening to the Film Quiz Podcast hosted by me, Nick Helm. My scoremaster was Hugh Davies. Today's contestants were Luke McQueen, Athena Kablenu and Stevie Martin. The show was recorded, edited and mastered by Louis Fitton. Assistant producer was Teddy Coward. Guest booker was Emma Turner. Thanks to Steve, Stuart and Jake, our camera people... Our exec producer is Simon Brew, and our producer is Howard Cohen. The Film Quiz Podcast is a Why Now and Film Story.